I'm James with Yeti Ice Blasting here in the Cincinnati metro area and uh, this project is a really exciting one. This is a hundred year old um, obviously vintage tractor and um, the, the project requires that all the original paint be stripped back so we can get to a bare metal profile for the uh, primer and the new paint to go on and protect it for another hundred years. Traditional methods uh, of, of dry blasting, uh, like sand media, uh, require up to 800 pounds of sand every hour and, uh, and an incredible amount of cleanup. What we do here using the, the ice, the dry ice pellets, is we add just a, a fraction of that um, abrasive media, which requires minimal cleanup, of course. Um, and, and what it does, that, that abrasive media, it just penetrates just enough for the ice to, to do what it needs to do. One of the benefits of using these two medias together is that uh, as, as we're blasting with, with the two, the ice actually works to suppress the dust and, and also to clean that profile off as we go, which eliminates a whole step and means that the painter can come right in behind us without that additional cleaning process needed. The dry ice itself, uh, that process um, does three things that, that are critical to do this in an efficient and clean way. Uh, firstly, there's an impact. The ice coming through the gun comes through very quickly as it hits the substrate and the, uh, and the, the adherent, it's, uh, it's impacting it, so there's that speed. Then it's very cold, it embrittles what it hits and, uh, and therefore making it uh, easier to remove and breaking its chemical bond from the surface. And lastly, there's expansion. That ice expands up to 800 times its original size straight from a solid to a gas and as it as it expands like that it lifts the adherent from the surface and so that's what we're doing here today in preparation for this to be painted and be protected for another hundred years